Hi, welcome to Figma Friday number seven. In this episode, what I'd like to do is give you a, a basic walkthrough of how to illustrate the Figma logo within the app. So I have an example here. Let's dive in and get started. Um, so this is a Figma logo, which I grabbed from the Figma community. If we switch into outlines view, we can see that the basic structure of the logo is a circle here and then uh, the semicircle with um, a flat edge here on the side. So these three shapes are the same and then this one has a pointy corner. So I'm going to lay out my uh, two by three grid so I can begin drawing some of these shapes. So to do that, I will select my rectangle tool. Let's draw a square like that. Copy it over and snap it. Select both of these, copy those down. And then just need one here on the bottom left. So I'll just copy this down. If I look in the outlines view again, I have my basic grid like this. And I can select all of those and flip the fill into an outline. So I can have a grid that kind of looks like that. Now I'm going to, uh, using the circle tool, or the ellipse, uh, keyboard shortcut O, I'll start drawing some of these uh, basic shapes in here. So we'll draw the circle into here, snap it to the edges of that square grid that I created. So we have that circle right there. I'm going to draw the next shape up by duplicating the circle, snap it into here. And then this shape, it has kind of that square square uh, side on the left. So what I'll do for that, uh, I can go in here and I can edit the uh, path for the shape by adding additional points and tweaking them to make the corners, but I'll actually uh, make it a little bit quicker by selecting my rectangle tool and drawing a square or a rectangle right here and snap it to right about there. So it snaps to the circle and to my uh, square grid. And then from here, what I'll do is select this rectangle and this circle and use the union selection option up above here. Click that to merge both of those together. So now when I go into edit the vectors, I can see that this is a union shape that looks more like the shape that we have here. Okay, so I'll just copy this one over to here. That needs to be mirrored or flipped. Uh, let's see, I need to flip horizontal, shift H to reverse that to the other side like this. And I'll select this shape, copy that down to here. And then for this last shape, I need this, uh, it's a circle with a little corner. So what I'll do is I'll grab this circle, copy, drag it down to here, snap it into this uh, grid space. And then by selecting my rectangle tool again, I'll draw a perfectly square box, snap it to here, and I can actually switch to outline view to kind of see that the paths that I'm working with. And then shift drag the corner of this box to snap it to here and then so once i select this box and this circle there are two separate shapes right now but again i'll use the union selection option click that to make it into a sing single union object uh, and then what i can do uh, because these are currently union objects within the layers i can always come back here and edit these shapes like that. Um, so what I'll do is I'll select my these layout grids that I drew earlier. I don't need those anymore because I have my shapes figured out um, for the logo. So from here I can select this union shape that I created and using keyboard shortcut I to go into the eyedropper I can select the color from this shape. That's one way of applying colors. Uh, another way is for me to control click on this shape and do control alt C to copy the fill color and select this shape here and do control alt V to paste that color in. So it's really up to you which way you want to do that. I'll just, uh, here's another example. I can go into the fill for this one, 
this shape here, grab the eyedropper from here, and then sample the color from right there. Uh, I'll just use the eyedropper for these other ones. So eyedropper that, select this shape, eyedropper that. Uh, and now what I can also do is uh, I can flatten these shapes together so they're no longer a union, but that uh, basically merges the circle within the rectangle. Uh, and now I no, lo no longer have the ability to edit that. So I'll undo it so that way I can always pull this these shapes out separate if I needed to. Okay, so we have the logo created. I'll just drop it into a uh, frame, uh, which I'll turn into a circle. Uh, and then we'll match the example that I have here. So I could go in here and just draw a circle behind Figma, uh, the Figma logo, send it back like this, and sample that color and call it done. But what, what I'll actually do is I'll switch to my frame tool and I'm going to uh, draw a square frame around my new Figma logo. Okay, so that, that's a square frame. I'll show you a, a really neat trick for uh, making that into a circle. I'll select all the parts of the Figma logo, hit Control G to group it. I'll name my group uh, Base Logo, and I will center it horizontally and vertically within my frame. And then the frame, I'm going to expand just a little bit more to match my other one. Actually, the sizing doesn't really matter. And then again, I'll center this logo here. I'll hit the constraints to scale uh, horizontally and scale vertically. I'll select my frame and by switching to the eyedropper, I'll sample this black color here. And then, so this is a square frame. A uh, trick that I like to use is on the corner radius here, I like to apply something extreme like 1000, and that rounds off the corners to the point where you get a circle. And I like to do that because I can always just set the corner radius to zero to turn it back into a box if I ever wanted to. Uh, for this example, we're going to keep it as a, a circle, and then I'll scale this down just a little bit to find that nice balance right there. Select my frame, name it Figma logo. And now we have exactly uh, matching the example that we were going for. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this basic walkthrough of how to draw uh, vector shapes and uh, create layout grids and things within Figma. Uh, if you have any questions about it, feel free to drop me a comment in this video. But Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.